We've, we've now had monkeys with uh, Neuralink implants for like two, three years, okay. and they're doing great. So, um, and we've even replaced the Neuralink twice, uh, and, it's, and, and we're getting ready to do the, to do the first uh, implants in hopefully in a few months. Um, the, the, the early implementations of Neuralink, I think, are unequivocally good. Speaking of the double-edged sword, I think these early implementations are single-edged sword um, because the first implementations will be to enable people who are, have lost the brain-body connection uh, to be able to operate a computer or a phone faster than someone who has hands. That is, of course, Elon Musk uh, talking about the Neuralink chip that we have breaking news on. And uh, in that video, he's wearing a very cool coat. No notes, it's a cool coat. You look great in it, Elon, just keep going, you look great. But anyway, um, there he said that they were gonna be putting it into a human brain in the next few months. And apparently it came true generally when he says, here's the timeline for a product. It takes years if it ever comes to market. But in this case, Neuralink has implanted a chip in a human brain. For the first time, he tweeted about this and he said, initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Lies. Which obviously I understand what that means. And also he understands what that means. But anyway, um, he says the results are good so far. Lies. And there is no evidence in the, stop. There is no evidence in the past where Fake he would news. ever lie or exaggerate about how a product works, the risks of using it. He has never done that and would never do that. So thoughts. I just want to respond to what Elon Musk said in that interview, which is that the monkeys have had chips in them for three years and are doing great. Lies, lies. We saw the reporting from last year from Neuralink employees saying that the monkeys are in pain every single day, that they're trying to rip the chip out of their brains, that they are banging their head onto the wall, that they are oh. like these Animals are being tortured. Now, there's a million reasons to hate Elon Musk, right? Um, the fact that he's basically a Nazi, even though he like goes to Auschwitz and pretends to be a friend of the Jews, but also believes in the Great Replacement theory. The fact that his Teslas, you know, sort of set on fire or are not ready for the road driverless, and yet they're on the road driverless. All of these reasons to hate Elon Musk. This is the one for me that gets me every damn time that his hubris and his idiocy about what he can do and for whom, like he effing cares about paraplegics or people who can't use their hands. He does not, he is not gonna be the one on the cutting edge. In the meantime, these animals are suffering. And this person who's agreed to let the chip in his head, they're not doing that well either. And I say he well, just because, you know. I'm guessing. Uh, look, I am assuming that whoever this is, is probably desperate for whatever it is claimed that this thing is going to be able to do in terms of improving quality of life or mobility or ability to communicate, God only knows. And the thing is, something like this is probably being worked on by multiple companies. And eventually there will be things like this that work. And one thing that makes me feel a little bit better about it is I wanna remind you that Elon Musk has nothing whatsoever to do with the actual making of this. He doesn't understand anything about the brain. He doesn't understand anything about neurology or the chips themselves any more than he does about rockets or cars. He doesn't make any of these things. And I will keep repeating that until people finally understand it. He is a hype man and a financier. And he at one point decades ago did a little bit of coding on some websites. That's where it ends. The issue is what effect he could potentially have on the people who actually do this research. And it has been, as Francesca alluded to, he is a guy that does not believe there should be any breaks on his work. Full speed ahead, no matter what, how big the pile of monkey corpses is that we leave behind. The guy that tells you that it's full self-driving and it's ready to go, and then oops, a whole bunch of people died in it is not the guy that you wanna trust on claims about whether it's gonna be perfectly fine if he puts a thing in your skull, No. okay? Now, maybe it'll be great. And maybe the person who has it in there right now is doing fine. And it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be rolled out, it's gonna be perfect and all of that. But there is a long line of exaggerated claims that he has made, of timelines that he has lied about, at risks he has minimized, and he has told people to just get it done 
Mm-hmm. And and look, in this particular case, this is opening up people's brains. And maybe it's just the fact that I've just binged two seasons of Dr. Death. Oh but God. I think oh that God. geniuses who want to revolutionize your body or whatever and are opening you up, and they potentially benefit from the fame and the, the plaudits and all that. But it's your body on the gurney. I would be very worried and I would want a lot of oversight. And unfortunately, when it comes to like Elon Musk, like people extend him way more like like goodwill and way more rope uh, than than potentially they should. But, and John, specifically on that point, what you're saying, this is someone who relishes in a smaller team of people getting gutting gutting all these uh, entities that he runs, all these corporations. He runs roughshod over uh, workers' rights, and when they protest or they say that something's going wrong, like this is a guy we want to be what putting chips into people's brains and sending people into outer space, right? And by the grace of some of the workers in these places who have either sounded the alarm or the ones who are actually doing the thing, they've been able to probably prevent some of the worst accidents and the worst crimes, although not all of them. But so it's just like wild to me, and this is perfect, it's a perfect encapsulation of why like unfettered capitalist greed is not compatible with innovation. It's just not, why? Because when you run a skeleton crew and everyone becomes an effing skeleton, you actually Hmm. need tests, you need need regulations, you need oversight, you need time. But money doesn't want time, no, money wants now. Yeah, 100%. Um, Look, as I said, this sort of work needs to be done or whatever. And the, the people who fund it are not necessarily always going to be great, but he is particularly suspicious. And so people need to be watching this. Do not extend him uh, the leeway to just do what he wants when people's lives are potentially on the line. Because, like, they'll do their testing or whatever. And you know, right now they they already have um, they've been working on this for some time. They've received approval to study the safety and functionality of the chip implant and surgical tools. So, How? okay, they will work on that. But I'm just saying, like, when he says it's ready to be rolled out in a commercialized form. I hope there are layers of bureaucracy looking into that and making sure because I I don't even know I don't even know what could end up happening. Then he should be the test subject. Wrong. Put it in his brain. He can tweet yeah. faster. He's Isn't not, that great? Oh my god. That's literally the only thing he would want it for. I have a feeling he is never going to go under himself. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.